far, my least favorite season to dress for is the summer or any time that it's really hot outside. And where I live now, it gets hot pretty early and stays that way until like the beginning of October. So the last few years, I've been really trying to figure out ways to get dressed, enjoy my outfits, but still be comfortable. So I wanna share those tips with you today. I wanna go over some of the things that have been working for me and hopefully they can help you too so that you can be inspired even when it's really hot outside. So let's get started. My first tip is to keep things off your skin. So things that are a little bit looser, a little billowy, puff sleeves are great, kind of uh, peplum tops that let a little air conditioning up there, looser pants, wide legs, wide skirts, and looser shorts. All of that makes a really big difference in how comfortable I feel. So anytime I'm able to allow some air kind of to get in there and I don't feel like things are directly touching or squeezing my skin, I feel so much more comfortable. And then similarly, I also find that going up a size or even a couple sizes can really give you a great effect because not only do things look really effortless, but then they are also off of your skin. You don't get that suffocation factor. And anytime that it's hot or humid, I get really, really bloated. And I find that my usual clothes are a little bit too tight or really too tight, depending on how hot it is. So then I have nothing left to wear. So instead, if I'm able to go up a few sizes, I have so much more flexibility. My next tip is to be strategic about your fabrics and the materials that you're wearing. So going for things that are breathable, airy, lightweight, those are obviously going to make you a little bit more comfortable when it's hot outside. But I want to take this a couple steps further. And when you're looking at certain materials, I think it's so important here to look at how they're going to lay and how they're going to keep or not keep their shape. So if you like a really polished kind of structured look and you like things to stay very neat and crisp, going for linen probably won't give you that effect. So you'll feel really breathable and light and airy, but the wrinkle factor might make you feel less polished and put together and ultimately a little bit less in line with how you want to come across. So instead, going for something that's really airy and breathable, but has maybe pleating or holds its shape is going to give you that effect. So you can test this really easily by taking a piece of clothing, crumpling it into your hand, and when you release it, if there are a lot of wrinkles, that will be wrinkle city when you wear it. But if there's only like maybe one, maybe two, or none, that's a really good fabric to consider. My next tip to look chic in the heat and feel really great in your outfits, even when it's hot outside, is to go for accessories and use them to your advantage. So accessories are great all year long, but specifically when it's hot and you're wearing fewer clothing, accessories can give you that visual impact and really add interest to your outfit. So you can't necessarily go for a blazer or a sweater or a jacket, but you can wear a great purse, a really cute pair of sandals or shoes. You can go for a scarf, maybe tie it on your bag, tie it in your hair, put it in your belt loops, and then also sunglasses. They're functional, they're practical. Likewise with hats, you can find so many cute little straw hats. I have one that's a really, really nice style. It's got a little small brim and it's got really beautiful coloring. It's like a dark blue and black and that combination is so chic. And so going for something like that gives you the function of sun protection but still add something to your outfit. And then also when it comes to jewelry, I think that there's nothing better than statement earrings or really playing around with your earrings because they're off your skin. They're off your neck, they're not on your wrists and you don't have to worry about anything feeling swollen or bloated, but you can go for a great pair of statement earrings, add that beautiful interest to your outfit. And then when you tie your hair up, you can showcase them even further. They're functional and beautiful. And I love that, especially in the summer. And last but not least is structured but breathable shoes. So if you're like me and you love structured shoes, things like ankle boots and loafers, maybe ballet flats, you can't really wear those when it's really hot outside because they're not the most functional or practical. So instead, I recommend looking for something structured, something that kind of reflects back to those fall and winter shoes, but in an open, breathable style. Something like a great sandal, maybe a chunkier sole, something with a buckled detail and something that can be worn with all of your summer outfits that you're working to build. As I've reflected on my own wardrobe, that's an area that I'm definitely missing and it's something I'm trying to fix this year and I'm on the hunt for the perfect pair because letting
spreading your feet out can make a really big difference in how comfortable you are. And so going for something that's still got that structure to it can make you feel like you, but still in a functional way for the weather. So definitely let me know if you have any recommendations because I'm looking for something for myself. And if I find anything, I'll definitely share. And like always, I hope that these tips are helpful for you because getting dressed in the summer or any time that you're not that inspired can be just really kind of draining and if you're like me you just avoid it so i'm trying to not do that and these tips have been really helping so hopefully they can help you too and like always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one have a great day